Hey guys, my name is Alfred Montaner. I'm here at Black Point Marina. And the reason I'm here is I wanna go ahead and talk to you guys about the new rules that they're doing after this current pandemic. Uh, obviously our marinas have been closed down uh, due to social distancing. And we're gonna go ahead and talk about some of those rules today. I wanna give you all the upfront information. I got it from the Miami-Dade website and I'll be reading it out to you guys. So you guys can better understand uh, what's going on. Um, I'm doing this on my own. No one had told me to come out here. I want to do this kind of like service announcement so you guys can feel a little bit more comfortable when you come out here, uh, depending on what happens and stuff like that. Some things that we might agree, we might disagree. I think you can put your comments below and uh, we'll talk about that. And here it is. All right, so some of you guys are that are captains, um, I'm sure this is gonna be something that they're gonna have to look at uh, later once, once things start actually happening. Okay, so six pack. Uh, charter vessels shall have no more than four guests per vessel. Uh, drift fishing vessels shall provide for social distancing, which shall include delineating self social distancing positions. In other words, you know, try to be in a scenario where you're far from the other guy who's fishing. Uh, including but not limited to tape or markings for patrons or seats, vessel railings, and, uh, and on the deck. All persons fishing shall have his or her own fishing poles and tackles. Equipment rental is prohibited. Okay, so you're going to have to bring your own stuff. Um, it's not uh, allowed. So they're going to ask you to go ahead and bring your own rod and reel. As far as passengers, um, we'll talk about passengers now, but let's go ahead and talk about single boat launches only. Uh, vessels must be prepared in advance. Um, I talked to some of the people in, uh, in the industry and, and that, that are going to be working this and all ramps, okay? One of the things that they're stressing a lot, uh, guys, is to be ready, have everything on the boat. Don't, do not come unprepared. So if you're gonna have everything on your boat, have it ready to just basically put your friends or family or whoever's gonna be on your boat uh, so you guys can launch in and out as safely as possible. Big, big important thing right there. Uh, the bait and tackle docks uh, will, field docks will also be open. Uh, for those of you that have jet skis, you're gonna be able to go ahead and have one single rider only. You can't have your friend, you know, your partner, anybody on it. It's a single uh, person. Keep in mind in Biscayne Bay, you can't launch or be on a jet ski. Um, fishing cleaning stations. There's one person per station at a time. Uh, if you do have some type of sanitizer or something that you can go ahead and uh, wipe down afterwards, That's, I'm, I'm sure that'll be helpful. Some of you guys might be on fishing piers. If you go on a fishing pier, you're gonna have to be 10 feet away from the next person unless it's a family member. If it's a family member, you guys don't have to do that 10 feet. Um, restroom uh, use will be available. Um, they're recommending that you wear facial mask or facial coverings. And uh, you know, make sure that you keep the six feet social distancing um, wherever you're at. Let's talk about some of the things that are not allowed. Okay, guys, this is not allowed. I know it's not something that everybody's going to be happy about, but I want you guys to know exactly what they're saying. Um, you're not allowed uh, to, to tie up close to anyone within a 50 feet radius. So if you're 50 feet away from another boat, you're fine. If you're closer than that, you're going to have to adjust to make sure you're 50 feet apart. Um, there's no rafting, there's no, you know, basically, you know, calling your friend, let's hook up together. Um, as far as anchoring, this is a big one, guys. This is going to hurt a lot of people. There's no anchoring in sandbars, all over sandbar, Nixon Beach sandbar, Sands Cut sandbar, okay? So there is no uh, accessibility to the sandbar. So if your expectation is to go out on the water and go to the sandbar, they're not going to let you go ahead and anchor there. You're not going to be allowed to beach at Beer Can Island, Pace, Picnic Island or others, Sandspur Island, all those little islands that people go ahead and, and, and basically beach and hang out on, there's none of that. You can't do that at this moment. Um, there's no landings. You can't basically launch your boat out of you know, an other area that's not the, the marina. And they're prohibiting gatherings, okay? So they're not. Let's talk about some of the rules. Let's talk about some of the rules of the capacity of people you can have per boat depending on its size. So if your boat is 25 feet or less, you can have a maximum of four adults plus children 
maximum of eight on the boat. Um, guys, keep in mind, if your boat is not rated for the eight and it's only rated for six and you can only put six people on that boat, keep in mind, you still have to have your safety um, life vests and all the necessary safety equipment that the state of Florida uh, recommends you have on board. And if you don't know, know that, I would encourage you to look it up. All right, so boats 26 to 36 feet. You can have six adults maximum plus children maximum of 10 on the boat um i i mean i don't know how many children are, could, could be on the boat but it doesn't it doesn't say how many so if your boat is 26 to 36 six maximum plus children maximum of 10 people on the boat uh, if you have that too many kids one of the kids is gonna i mean i guess the one who has the worst grades all right if your boat is 37 feet or bigger eight adults maximum plus children maximum of 10 on the boat so even if you have a 37 foot boat or bigger the max amount of people you can have on your boat is 10. Uh, i guess everyone else is going to hide in the lockers i don't know um, no boat shall exceed the maximum capacity of persons per maximum city label uh, children must be 17 and under so they're they're calling children anybody that's 17 and under in accordance with CDC and FWC guideline charter vessels, CDC cleanliness guidelines shall be posted in restroom heads. Restrooms shall be sanitized and disinfected at least hourly and after each trip or more frequently as needed and water and soap hand sanitizers or both shall be provided for patrons. All right, so let's just say you start coming back from, from your fishing trip, you know, you did everything right on the water. You're trying to go, remember, it's going to be a very busy first couple of days because people are kind of a little anxious and some of those people are going to want to clean their fish because they don't have a place to clean it at home. Um, the fish cleaning and bait table stations shall be limited to one person per station at a time. Fish cleaning and bait table stations shall be cleaned with soap and water or a disinfecting agent between each used uh, charter. Just so you guys know, since it, it will be also very busy, keep in mind that when you're coming in and coming out, especially when you're coming back to go ahead and get your boat, um, look, the reality is that there's a lot of asymptomatic people that don't know they are or they, are, they, they have or they don't have this illness. Um, having that said, take precautions as if the people around you do. So, so use your social distancing. When you guys are coming in, a lot of times uh, people can't get their boat out of the water. They gotta walk to their trailer, pull in, Make it as seamless as possible. Don't get too close to other boats uh, while you guys are, are idling in. So give yourself enough distance to, to do that when you're there. Um, what else do we have here? Uh, restrooms will be open with attendance to regulate. The Florida Fish and Wild Commission, the U.S. Coast Guard, Miami-Dade Police, and park rangers will continue to monitor the county marinas to enforce compliance with these requirements and ensure public safety. Those in violation of these requirements be subject to a misdemeanor fine of... $500. It's one of the things that I want to talk to you guys and tell you guys before you guys get out of here. It's my opinion, uh, especially if you're not a very experienced boater, I would hold off until they kind of figure this out. Right now, nobody's kind of used to this whole thing. The parks are going to have to adjust. They're going to adjust as they go. They have something on here that kind of concerns me. It says uh, passengers uh, must be boarded before launch. Okay. That gives the impression that you're going to have people on your boat, you trailer them in the water, and uh, I think that that's a huge problem. So I don't know how they're gonna figure that out tomorrow in the morning, but you know, use your own discretion when it comes to that. I personally don't think it's the best scenario to have people in the boat and then launch them in the water. It could be a nightmare in my opinion. Uh, so hopefully they can adjust that at some point tomorrow. Um, what else? Make sure you have your mask. Obviously I don't have my mask right now because I'm, I'm, I'm filming, but I am wearing that in my, my gloves. Try to go ahead and be as responsible uh, out there as possible and uh last thing guys this these rules um are from miami-dade uh, county it's until further notice uh they haven't given a full timeline obviously they're going to be watching exactly how people do what is the, their proposed rules I, I think once they observe exactly what happens they'll probably readjust to what's the best scenarios 
what I would do this, and the reason I'm doing this, I think if you guys have better information, you guys can do this properly and we can have access to our ramps. And I think, uh, you know, this is a good opportunity to go ahead and let the county know that the city of Miami-Dade should have more access to ramps and have other ramps. And hopefully they can go ahead and start exploring that. Because here's another thing that's gonna happen. Because there is so many people that have not gone out, some people that are just dying to get on the water, the actual amount of people that are gonna be going into the water, you probably will, all won't be able to make it to the water. Not just because you can't because of the whole social distancing stuff, is because the marinas are gonna get full probably by 9, 10 in the morning. So get here early if you wanna be on the water. I would encourage you to be here early. I stress again, guys, make sure that you have all your stuff inside the boat. Don't have that one person that's going to put you because what's going to happen? Here's what's going to happen. I, I mean, they're not going to tell me what's going to happen is they're going to tell you, you go back out, go around, get back in the line. And all of a sudden now everybody's going to be mad at the person and your whole day is going to be shot. All right. So look, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to check out other videos and stuff like that. And stay tuned. I got my sunk ver uh, Mercury Verado that's coming up. Uh, it's coming up. Let's just say it's coming up and it's coming up strong. Today's show was brought to you by the following sponsors. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And always remember, amazingness, that's what we do.